Hello, I've decided to make my first content video for this channel and I thought a good place to start might be with a, a sort of story time uh, about how I first got interested in tarot and a little bit about what it means to me now. I'm going to be illustrating the story with some cards that I've chosen from the Fountain Tarot, uh, not picked at random but actually chosen for the purposes of the story. Um, I think the first thing to, to say though is that a lot of what I believe about the tarot, a lot of what I think about how it works and things like that, I'm, I'm going to leave largely for another time, although there will be a little bit about that in, in this video. Um, this is really just going to be a bit of background to get me started on, on the channel and to uh, see where it goes from there. Having said that, I think th the first thing to say with with my story, as with, as with any story, is, is that it comes with um, a lot of backstory, a lot of uh, not tradition exactly, but you know, a, a lot of um, a lot of stuff that's 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 in an old box here with <laughs> with the hierophant from the from the fountain tarot looking into it. Um, I love this picture. There, there he's looking into his box of traditions. And, and that's our sort of box of history that comes in with, with any story that we tell. A tiny bit about my, my background, as I say more and more of it I'll talk about another time. Um, I, I trained in physics and I've also got a, a grounding in religious studies, um, particular interest in anthropology of ritual and myth. Um, that kind of area of interest, uh, a, a, a very lively interest in the, the relation between uh, science, magic and religion. Um, and yeah, probably more of that, that another time. My interest in, in tarot came, came quite late, uh, really, and through a very dear friend of mine who was a, a great tarot reader, I mean a very, very good reader indeed, and I think what made him especially good was not so much his, his skill with the cards um, or his, his knowledge of, of interpretation, so much as the, the care that he took over people that he read for, um, a real sort of um, a concern for the person and a concern to spend time with them and to give them his very best effort. Uh, in in interpreting the cards for them. He had a great sort of uh, inward spirituality, uh, the sort of spirituality that invited you in to, to take part within him. He, he, in, in some ways he, sounds slightly odd I suppose, but in some ways he, he was my high priestess, that, uh, that keeper of the, the, the inward, the inward spirituality. And he read the cards for me on, on several occasions, um, but all around a time where there was an awful lot changing in my life. I was, I was changing careers, really, uh, and changing an awful lot about my personal circumstances and how I was going to live and, and things like that. Uh, very much going from one place to another, very much like the people in the Six of Swords card in the Rider Waite system generally and, and here in the in the fountain tarot, very much leaving a lot behind and going off to something new. And while this friend of mine was never, like me, never really um, interested in, in divination in the sense of predicting possible futures, he did help me think about my circumstances uh, in ways that I might not otherwise have. And one of the many things that he, he showed me uh, around that time was, was the need for a time of patience, um, a time of watching to see that the things I'd, I'd begun to plant by way of what I was going to do next in my life, the, the things that I, I'd, I'd planted in that period of my life too, to germinate, to grow, to come to fruition slowly, 
this lovely fountain tarot picture of the, the seven of coins with the man planting his cabbages or whatever they are um, and very much emphasizing that need for patience for allowing things to mature slowly the very sad end to this part of the story is when this friend of mine passed away um, far too young and very much missed by his friends but what he'd done for me um, in the care that he showed interpreting the cards for me never left me and in, in time I, I became interested in the idea of using the cards in similar ways myself um, so I, I did what people do I bought a deck I, I read a couple of books I watched so many YouTube videos um, really quite inordinate numbers of YouTube videos and thanks to all the many many tarot youtubers that I can't even begin to remember let alone name who have very wonderfully put videos up that I've watched night after night and begun to get an idea of how this whole thing uh, might work and it led me to to start to um, to start to use the tarot in, in, in a way for for introspection for contemplation for meditation um, really to to look at my own thought processes my own emotional processes and so on and to use the tarot to give me a perspective that I might not get left to my own thoughts um, that's how I do it it is in a way and this brings us to the next card it is in a way to to shed a little bit of light on on the dark bits that I might not want to I might put that it might not occur to me to to think about myself and it brings me to the incredible hermit card in the fountain tarot this idea of the hermit again another very a very interior figure a very internalized figure introspective um, but he's shining his light out into this dark woodland um, and a narrow beam of his lamp is just lighting up some of the trees there but the rest is still in darkness he's finding a way he's finding a direction and this is how I use this whole thing this is how I use tarot it's to help me it, it's this lamp it's this lamp for me that otherwise I might not have um, and it kind of brings me to to where I am now it's for me it's all about seeing possibilities um, it is about having that perspective that you might not think of left to yourself um, it's about finding balance points in life it's about weighing possibilities against each other and with each other and and so my last card that I'm choosing for this story is temperance from the fountain um, beautiful picture this gorgeously painted and really I, I just want to finish off the story with a lovely description of where I feel I am with the tarot now um, by reading a couple of paragraphs from the uh, the fountain terror book uh, that comes with a pack of cards uh, and this is from the the page on, on on the temperance card temperance invites us to consider that all things are possible even when they appear to be at odds life is not static and neither are our needs they vary across a lifetime and across each situation through listening and awareness the universe reveals what your soul truly needs not just what your ego wants it's not as complicated as you make it if you can put your perceptions and impatience aside you create space for alchemy <laughs> 